What's up guys, it's M Benz. I am feeling so fabulous. I'm wearing no makeup, no filter. I'm getting a little too comfortable with you guys. I don't know about all this comfortability. Like you guys are getting way too involved in my personal life. I'm in my, like, well, I'm not in my pajamas, but I woke up and threw on my clothes because um, I was taking my other half, my fiance Mike, to his office. And it's our time we spend. I like to take him. I don't have to take him. I take him because it's like it gets to spend time together. And I'm a stay-at-home uh, artist. <laughs> that was funny. Stay-at-home dog artist. I didn't want to laugh too hard because I want to get stick on my teeth. That happens a lot. <laughs> All right. So you guys, we're talking about nothing. I just want to do some car drive. Venting. So one thing I wanted to bring up today that I've kind of noticed recently is, is something to do with politics, which I hate talking about and I hate, I hate in general, but this is something I did notice. So one thing I've really recognized with people is that each side, regardless of where you sit politically, are semi like a cult. So it never was like this before. I felt like it was just, they were liberal and you were conservative. Like it wasn't, it wasn't so like blood crib gang banging you know and so what I noticed that now with politics and, and I had an epiphany the other day and I just want your guys' feedback this is just me talking out loud and something that came to my mind and I would love to hear everyone's thoughts or input or just something for you guys to think about planting a seed so Trump allegedly created the the magic potion or got it out there right the magic potion you guys know what that is right i didn't take it sorry if you did i did not i, I got i got banned i lost my instagram account and i couldn't go live for a year because i talked about it they literally banned me from going live you guys for all of 2020 because i because i w wasn't promoting i was saying all the truth about not you know not getting it maybe hold out and then, and then I wore a bucket hat that said, kill your local, you know, starts with a P, ends with a file, has an Edo in the middle, should be dead, all of them. Those guys, well, I got, yeah, unalived, sorry, probably gonna get a strike for this, oops, oh, suck life, but anyway, <laughs> the point is, is the truth. And this will kill your, unalive your local, local pervert, basically. But it said, you know, the, the legal version of ends with a file. There you go. Do the math. Get, get, if you're new here, I'm trying to, I'm trying to bring you up to speed. Anyone that knows, I know, knows what I'm talking about. It's like, bitch, I know what you're talking about. I know. But some people don't. So this is an educational, I can't talk and assume that people know. See, when you assume people know shit, they, they don't, it goes over their head and they, it doesn't reach the person it's supposed to reach. If you already know this information, then great, watch the video because I'm fucking entertaining. But, if you ask me, I'm fucking entertaining. But, at the end of the day, you're not going to reach anyone that needs to hear it. So, I'm trying to help. I'm, I won't do this every video, so hopefully you all keep, can keep up. But my point is, is that, that I still haven't gotten to the point. Point being, Michelle needs sleep, clearly still. It's gonna be like this for a minute. Uh, it's okay though, but just bear with me. I'm really sharp, I just am not well rested. And so I'm tangenting, going on tangents. But basically, what I was trying to get at is the fact that they're on the same team. And I think this PSYOP has been one big mind control and mind F-U-C-K that has even gotten the most people the most logical people, the most intelligent people sucked into it. And to be honest with you guys, like the only reason I ever even stepped into this arena of political stuff is when it started coming to affecting the kids and the, sh and the and laws they were passing with this stuff, with like all this sexual stuff they're doing and all these weird, you know, gender assignment, changing your gender and all that stuff for minors. It's like, you guys, it's just getting weird. This is not right. I don't care what you believe. And if I hurt your little feelings right now, go go read a Bible because you need to read one real quick. I'm not religious. I'm not no bubble thumper church weirdo. The church has been distorted and ruined by man. You guys have, it's been perverted. It's been 
de- demons go to church. Let's put it that way. Demons go to church too, bro. I don't fucking hang out with demons, so you won't find me at church. Uh, my church is in my home, and if you're welcome to uh, ever be in my inner circle, you should feel pretty honored because I'm picky about that. I don't just let anybody over here for a reason. Because not just demons in church, there's demons everywhere. And it's this real stuff going on, and we're at war. So if you didn't watch my purge video, I will post it here uh, today, actually. I just got to get it off my Instagram. It might have the watermark, but so I think I forgot to save it before I posted it. Anyway, the point is, you guys, we're at war. It's going to get really, really, really fast. <clears throat> the war that I battle is in, is in the spirit. It's not in the flesh. So I'm not talking like, oh, my God, I eat yeah. But you guys need to get right with God. I'm, I'm being serious right now because this is all written. And we're just living the text. And we got some shit to fight. Regardless of our political belief systems or what we feel, none of that should matter because we are we all have the same enemy, you guys. And that's what they don't want us to know. They don't want us to realize. Listen, let's put a perspective here. Everyone hates the, the orange man, right? Orange man, bad. Okay, that's fine. But here's my question for you guys. Like, for real, for real. Let me make sure I'm ordering my coffee. Hold on. Actually, last time they didn't put the sugar-free syrup in it, and I'm like, I never get Starbucks, you guys, but I have to. That shit's like crack cocaine. That shit is not, not something I would get here. I suggest people get every day, okay? Let me order it. Hold on. Order here. Um, I'm going to go into the drive through though. Check out. Wait. I don't need two. I just need one. Wait, what? Sorry guys, it has something on my menu that I don't want. I didn't order no pistachio. Alright, sorry guys. You guys are the best. I'm not because I'm not editing this. I don't got time for that right now. I'll edit them in the future. Right now you get in the raw, you get in the raw uncensored and bends. This is a car ride. Just imagine you get to go on a car ride with me. That's what you're doing. Car car ride with M Benz. Car rides with M rides with M Benz. Benzo. I got benzo rides in the bends, or I'll think of a name for it. It's gonna be cute. Suggestions welcome though. Let's come up with a name for riding in the car with me, like benzos, bends, uh, in the riding with benzo in the bend, riding with benzo in the benzo. I don't know, riding with bends in the benzo. That might be hard. Riding with bends in the benzo. All right. Anyway, because I am in a bends, and I'm not saying it to be like that. I'm just saying it because I'm in bends. It's kind of you know benzo in the bends. All right. So. Back to the point. Donald Trump. Orange. Oh, can I say that word either? I don't know. I'm not really been on YouTube. What am I not allowed to say? Please, you guys, I got it. You got to get the list. Someone send me the list of what I'm not allowed to say so I don't get in trouble. Um, because I, I have a part time. <laughs> so I'm keeping my mouth shut because I tell the truth too much. All right. So Orange Man allegedly was the one who put this stuff out. The the magic potion, right? And then the left is the one who hates Trump. And then they're the ones that are pushing the magic potion so heavy. Like, they're so freaking pressed about it. You can't. They're, literally, let's be honest. I work in L.A., you guys. I live in, like, Hollywood business. I had to tell a few people, like, well, you know, I'm not getting it. And they're like, well, then, well, I don't want you. You can't come on set. I said, I can come on set. It's my video. It's, I'm the di- Listen, I'm the producer. Mike's the director. So, guess what? If you respectfully have a problem with that, that's okay. But guess what? Go find another director because I'm not going to go get a shot just to make you feel better. Like, what kind of world are we living in where people think that they have a right to impede on your freaking personal health choices? What? But yet you let a minor cut their PP off. You guys are sickos. I'm sorry. This is some sicko shit and I'm here to stop it and I'm here to tell you the truth. I'm going to roast everybody that's on the side of retardation because if you have been brainwashed, because I don't think people are stupid, I think they're brainwashed. They have fallen for a PSYOP mind control program and they walked right into it. Sorry, I'm not programmable. So it didn't work on me. It never have, never will. And you all got to wake up. So here you go. I'm here to wake you up. Sleeping beauty. (laughs) Wake up. So there's that so just start connecting the dots let's use some common sense if they hate each other how come one did this but this one pushing this but yet they hate each other doesn't make sense doesn't make sense now trump's pushing the gay stuff now he's pushing he, he says that the, the the magic potion was his greatest uh the greatest achievement to mankind oh really 
Because you see how people are just dropping all of a sudden? There's a lot of mysterious athlete, young deaths, heart attacks. You guys, we know what it is. Let's cut the crap. We cut the crap. Stop pretending that does because your doctor and TV or the TV didn't tell you something that's not true. Because we know the TV don't tell the truth. So y'all don't have to get over that one. I'm sorry. So I'm in line at Starbucks. Starbucks but anyways um hopefully it's not too long because I already pre-ordered it but I just thought I would talk to you guys I don't know if I'll be able to talk this long you know Starbucks lines be like five hours long be here till two o'clock all right but you guys get my point I just wanted to vent this out loud because it's not if you watch this cool if you don't it's all good but I just think we need to get over this stuff we need to stop fighting fighting each other and hating each other over political choices and views when we've all were played not one side was right not one side was smarter both sides fell into it in some capacity whether it be getting emotionally you know upset about the covid stuff and the vaccine damn i'm totally i'm scared i'm just telling the truth if you're a youtube censor person and you hear this or Ma'am, please just know that I'm not the enemy. Please stop. Stop it. Let me talk. Because you're going to have blood bodies on your hand if you guys keep censoring the truth. Meaning, if you're censoring the truth and you're, uh, you're complicit in that, you're complicit in a lot of death, you're complicit in evil, and literally, um, those who know and say nothing are just as responsible okay so you you can't tell me at this point people i mean we have to get out of this brain psyop if you guys go on tiktok and follow me you should i'm going live oh my gosh it's so cringy how slow people are like it's scary and i realized like because i'm i'm older than these kids so I, was, I thought i was supposed to be the slow one right no bro i'm faster than these adults these kids all of it there's only a certain people that are there the few real ones chosen ones i need you to contact me okay i need you to find me i need you to get into my discord let me know if you want to get in my discord um the link is my page is my discord's private server but you have to get through a verification process to get in you can't just hit the link and get in I got security in there. I got IT. It's a fucking operation, bro. And you, you not just getting in just to... And we don't tell secrets. I don't think you can get some secret information. We just have real talk with, with all sides. Do you know what I'm saying? Because the only way we're going to change this is through conversation and understanding of each other and realizing that... And get back to the human side of connection and realize that we are humans against fighting a war against a very evil demonic force and we have to fight back and we have to unite and stop being stupid and emotional politics aren't going to save anybody they're not going to change anything they're not if you guys like sports you know you enjoy talking about it and betting on teams and watching them cool do they do anything to change your life no it's just something you enjoy cool i can respect that but to actually believe these politicians are out here caring about you and doing shit is like absolutely delusional at this point if you still believe that shit in 2023 you need to get your head checked it's ridiculous honestly and some of you guys are grown adults raising kids and it pisses me off because you have no no uh, no common fucking sense and you're raising children bro get your head out of the sand you fucking ostrich ass hoes it's ridiculous at this point i'm so tired of people not using critical thinking but using critical theory <laughs> we gotta stop this shit we got to get over the dumb shit. We got to get over the dumb shit. Listen. If you are this and the third, I don't care. What I need you to worry about is realizing that the politics isn't real. They're all playing us. And I've said this to people and they'll say they agree. And then I see them go talk about something the next day as if it's real. So you don't get it. I'm going to say it again. It's not real an illusion to make you think you have a say to make you think you have a vote to make you think 
your ma your opinion matters. And maybe it used to at one point, but it doesn't. Not now. They're rigging these things. They're cheating. It's very clear. Very clear. The evil is spreading. And I'm going to destroy you, evil. Been sent here to been sent here to warn you <laughs> that I will destroy you. The purge is alerted and you are gonna be dead and deserted because you're evil. You fucking weasel. <laughs> I'm making shit up. Alright, they're evil though. And y'all, I'm trying to get you to remember it by being overly dramatic and talking it the same thing over and over. Evil is what their name is. Divisions, what their game is, and the only one falling for the shit are the lame ones and the lame kids. Cause you're fucking dumb as shit. Get off the TV, get off the internet, get off the idiot box, whatever you call it. To wake up. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to hurt anyone's feelings. Because if I if I didn't love you guys, I wouldn't even care. I wouldn't even talk about this crap. I really wouldn't. I would be like um probably already signed like i had many offers back in the day and i'd be twerking it on the radio and being like hot girl summer hot girl summer ba -ba 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 -na. or what's the new i don't know wop whatever they sing these days these ratchet people and tv rap rappers that they've destroyed hip-hop culture with i can't do it you can't find me out there you gonna find me spitting some legendary bars on a minute you guys are gonna be shooketh the white girl writes her own shit and she can she can fucking drop that shit that timeless flow act like you know the hum, uh, I'm humble but I'm about to be prestigious and famous and up in your uh, pause not in there <laughs> that's the other rappers ah. <laughs> no but I'm gonna be up in your faces and I'll be in your television screens I'll be, be everywhere I'm bringing my whole team with me so if you one of uh, the real ones who want to fight evil and you believe in God you don't, I don't do religion. Religion is division. If you have a religion, you believe more power to you. Asalaam alaikum, shalom, Shabbat, whatever. Peace, brother. Uh, I don't know all the terms, but you know what I'm saying. Amen. Prayers, blessings. Uh, God, read your Bible. I suggest Christian Bible, though, but, you know, like, whatever one Bryson James suggests, I will go over there and ask him, but, because I'm not, I just know it. The story's written, I lit, I'm living the text. Who wrote the story? I don't know. Maybe in Ben's did, but you should read it. Got more books and music coming, so get with the shits. Get your head out your ass and don't be a little sissy la la. Thanks. Bye.